In this video I'm going to show you how to do a scatter plot and put a line of best fit onto it using a TI-84+. Plus. It's quite simple to do, though some tutorials on the internet are pretty bad. So first step, we want to clear what's in the lists. So if we go second function and then go to memory, then we press 4, that gets us to clear lists, and then enter and that's it done. So any lists are now deleted. You could do a full reset um, if you want to be fussy, but this is sufficient for our purposes. If you get confused, try resetting everything. Uh, there may be something still hidden there. But anyway, so stat 1. This lets us enter the data. This, you could just use the brackets, but this way tends to be quicker. So we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, and then on here we've got 5, 9, 14, and then 17. Nice and simple. So the calculator is saving this in list 1, saving this in list 2, and we're going to do a graph of list 1 against list 2. This is how the calculator thinks about it. Make sure that these are list 1 and list 2. If they're not, then um, follow the link on the description to a video that will show you how to sort that problem. A common problem people have is they'll have deleted one of the list names. So let's just plot what's in here, nice and simple. So if we go to second function, then stat plot, which is in the top line here on the y equals. All right, we want to make sure that the plot, maybe a previous plot we've done, we want to clear that. So if we go four and then enter. So if it's stat plot, pop, stat plot, four, enter. And that clears the plots that are there, if any. And then we go back into that menu, second function, stat plot, now we go to 1, so we'll make this on, so we'll press enter here, and just go through this menu. Um, this is a scatter graph, so we want this one, line graph, bar graph, list, so on X we've got list 1, Y is list 2, and then what plotting mark you want, you can select these. We'll just leave these as default, make sure that this is on, otherwise it's not going to plot. Alright, next thing we do. It coming down here is we just press graph and it does this which looks wrong but it actually isn't um, this calculator is somewhat strange it doesn't automatically put it in the right view so you have to go to zoom and then if you go down you'll see this zoom stat or use the stat to plot it so press 9 and that zooms in correctly this looks like what we have plotted Right, let's just move this down at the bottom to the last steps. Right, so we want to do the best fit. So we're going to just put a line on top of this graph. That's nice and simple to do on this calculator. So if we go to um, stat and then go across to calc, this brings up the statistical calculations. We're wanting linear regression. So four, this gives us this function. And we have to put in what this function needs. So it's list one, comma, list two, comma, and then this y1. So second function and list one, comma, second function, list two, comma. So these are the inputs into the function. This is going to do the regression. We're going to put this into y1. y1's hidden away in vars, then y vars function and we've got y1 here and then we just press enter this does the linear regression and then we press graph and that puts on our line so that's how you do linear regression uh, linear regression plot it onto a scatter plot and plot the actual scatter plot so hopefully this has been helpful to you and thank you